وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. The question is effect of sins is more in this life. Please explain. Uh, yes, I explained that before when it comes to the, the believers, the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the believers, the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala treat them in this life as an ummah, because we have to differentiate between the individual trials in this life versus the ummah, the entire nation as a whole. So the ummah of the Prophet والسلام, the Muslims in general as a nation, uh, their punishment in this life, meaning if they sin as an ummah, as a nation, then they're not helped, they're not victorious against their enemies in this life. And, and their enemies will be sent against them by Allah. The disbelievers will be sent against them by Allah. And it's not as a way to, uh, to approve what the disbelievers are upon or that as a sign that the disbelievers are upon goodness. No, it's basically because of the, the believers and their sins. And the disbelievers, when they do that, it increases even more in their disbelief and their punishment of Allah. But for the individual believers, they are, of course, if they are uh, repenting to Allah and things like this, then their punishment is not, not a punishment. Uh, and they receive the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until uh, the ummah changes. And when the ummah is obedient to Allah, and uh, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala push away the harm from the evil ones and make them victorious. And this is the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as mentioned in the Quran. Uh, and now the ummah that is chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to carry the book, to carry the mission is the ummah of Al-Islam. I hope it's clear inshallah.